Welcome to the Lockdown Economy, a social nonprofit initiative by think tank Alter Contacts to help small businesses and self-employed professionals overcome the challenges of the pandemic and reactivate the economy. Good day, everyone, or good morning, depending on the time zone you are watching us from. My name is Maisa Sarkis, and I interview businesses from around the world. This time, guess who I'm interviewing? This is a business in Lebanon. My guest's name today is Mirelli Manah. She is 17 years old. Yes, she might be our youngest uh, founder and entrepreneur in the Lockdown Economy series. And uh, she designs art and create uh, small, from her art uh, planners. We'll talk about in a bit and other items where she print for uh, the customer based on the need. And the art of scientist was born. So before doing, going into this venture, Mirella studied the exponential price increase in the Lebanese market, despite uh, the economic crisis and other challenges Lebanon was passing through, and the art of scientist was born. Hello, Mirella, how are you? Hello, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you today as a guest uh, in the Lockdown Economy series, and I'm looking forward to our discussion about your business and what you are doing at the moment. So let's start with the art of scientists. Tell me, what do you do and what's the concept about, about it? So my name is Mirheli and I'm 17. Uh, I design planners and notebooks, so it mainly started as a very small business and it was all handmade. Uh, but then we thankfully evolved and now we have a lot of new products. So basically my concept is not just any other design concept, it's a twist, which is customization. Uh, basically I take the preferred color, the theme and the quotes that my clients gave me. I create a layout and we discuss the digital copy and then we print uh, the design on uh, the desired item so that my clients are motivated during the lockdown to plan their days, to take notes and to live normally as if uh, the virus did not exist. I loved how you are putting it into uh, a concept to help people uh, overcome uh, the challenges that they're having and uh, help them plan better for the year that is uh, hopefully 21 that brings a lot of hope. So tell me how many, how long have you been doing uh, the business and who helps you uh, to execute and uh, bring the designs and print them? I started in 2019. I was planning uh, this new idea, but unfortunately there's been a big economic uh, obstacle in Lebanon, uh, which was the increase uh, in, in the price increase and the dollar rate exchange. So my, I didn't want my dream, um, I didn't want it to end and I didn't want to cancel this plan. So I studied again and I calculated my expenses. I looked for suppliers. I looked for ways to keep my business of, to, to enjoy it. So uh, The Art of a Scientist was born in October 2019, but I started selling in March 2020. Uh, I took orders at first and I was overwhelmed and I was scared uh, to not be able to fulfill uh, the customer's desires. But then I met with a supplier, which is uh, a dad of four. Uh, he's a single dad and this is why through my business i support him he does everything related to printing and i do, I do everything related to design so my small business helps another small business well that's interesting it's a kind of collaboration and when small businesses come together to help especially as you highlighted many people who are not aware of the lebanon crisis uh, it's been a challenging year on top of a pandemic from uh, the exchange rate and as well uh, with the suppliers reaching lebanon so we have we usually outsource most of the items that uh, mirella is business in and having to collaborate with another business that would uh, create economies of scale and we'll be able to expand more hopefully and change uh, and do radical impact by small steps hopefully uh, for the future generation in uh, the Middle East and starting from Lebanon so uh, you mentioned that you are in collaboration with another, with another business do you have any employees who work 
uh, under your business? I do not. I work by my own, uh, but I get a lot of help from my family. Uh, and I also operate with a logistic, uh, logistics company for the deliveries. So it is easier for me not to have employees since I'm a small business, uh, but I do get a lot of help and I'm thankful for that. Well, I'm sure we have to start from uh, our own self and trust in our own capabilities. And it, uh, it's an only a true example how an entrepreneur, no matter his age, he can start and he doesn't need, he only needs the guidance of other people to just figure out the business uh, challenges or how to perfect the business while doing what he loves. And Mirella ha Mirelli is surrounded by her family and uh, other um, relationships for as a supplier for the business to grow. And I hope that I would be able to have another interview with you to see how the business would be doing in 2021. So at the moment, can you tell me who are your customers and how many clients did you have from when you started? You said you, you started taking orders in March and uh, that was the beginning of a pandemic that we'll talk about later. But who are your customers and uh, what is their preference? Uh, at first, my audience was my neighbors, people who live uh, around me, uh, my family members, my cousins. Uh, but then from story to story on Instagram and social media, my audience expanded and I started to reach people from uh, very different uh, walks of life. And I, I started to, to receive clients from uh, the mountainside and I live in the city, so I didn't know what these people were like and they have uh, another taste. So I, I got to experiment with different topics. I got to make designs of different themes and I was not prepared for that, but it was it was challenging, but I really liked it because I got to design different people. They were not all like me. They were uh, grown ups, they were kids, they were old people. So I, I got to meet with a lot of clients and uh, uh, seeing my audience grow was something that made me really happy because um, when you see that your clients uh, no matter wh uh, who they are and where do they come from, like your products, it, it makes you really happy. I can sense as well that the uh, fact of also interacting and connecting with people, as you mentioned, from different backgrounds, different preferences and different age group that would uh, harness your creativity side and will give you ideas to customize since it's very, uh, it's, it's, it's your core business and uh, embedded in your value proposition to customize based on orders, uh, planners for something that is very personal for the individual uh, who's planning his life or future or day-to-day -day activities. So we're talking about uh, the lockdown period and many things were happening and uh, it impacted and dominated most of our conversation. I wanna go back, although you mentioned a little bit, highlighted that the business started selling in March, 2020. So how did the lockdown affect uh, your business in particular? Can you tell me about that? The lockdown made me realize that being productive doesn't mean being busy. It means having a purpose and actually achieving something. So because of the lockdown, I realized that a lot of people need daily planners. So just as I did, I shared my, my passion for design and for planning and being organized during the lockdown. And this was what prompted me to start selling. So if the lockdown didn't happen, I would have had some doubts about my business. For sure, I can uh, see your uh, direction in terms of observing and also monitoring the ways where you can uh, improve what you are doing. And this is uh, only uh, because you have a passion and a drive to succeed and bring uh, your work to life. And you mentioned that you carry everything with you in two areas uh, when you are executing a job and it is not a job for you. It is actually something that you love to do and uh, it's now embedded in a, in a business. So what key challenges did you have and how did you solve them? Considering that you rely on maybe your inner drive and uh, your intuition. Uh, the situation in my country was quite challenging. Uh, we faced a lot of problems uh, during this short time lapse. 
but I made sure to keep my prices very affordable and to provide my clients with uh, something trendy that they've never seen before. So I'm not, uh, I was sure that uh, my, my products would be attractive because I, I did not just provide my clients with something basic. I, I attracted them and I made sure that they know that my products are here for them. Uh, to plan their days and to stay motivated uh, despite everything we're going through. So I like the way how you put it. It is uh, moving forward and uh, keep going uh, regardless of the elements that might uh, hinder us. So we just figure a way how to push through and uh, get over it and find a solution. And in this sense, I'm sure that the customer base uh, have been affected or you've noticed a change in the consumer behavior so or many other aspects in your business so can you tell me how you try to simulate the business front and attract the customers i really worked on uh, customer care and after purchase care so i wanted to know the feedback if someone was seeing improvement after using a planner and how they they shifted their focus to productivity and to actually track what they're doing. So instead of having empty days, uh, my clients started to, to be more organized. And I was really happy because this reflects me. I'm a really organized person and seeing my clients become organized uh, really helped me understand that this is my purpose. This is where I want to be. So I liked how you uh, put it uh, in words that uh, you try to understand and uh, be present where your customers are and uh, this help you perhaps understand more how to create the message and the brand communication and awareness. So on this term, do you know how your customers are doing uh, and the competition? I know that you collaborated uh, or you said you collaborated with uh, suppliers just to in order to uh, uh, to deliver the materials and the resources that will help you uh, print uh, the journaling and you are now expanding. So do you know how the competition uh, is doing? Is there any competition in the market that is presenting something similar? And what are your co customers doing at the moment? So uh, as I mentioned before, I started in March, but as soon as uh, I started to advertise my work on Instagram, which is my star platform i've started to see a lot of uh, a lot of competitors that i like uh, that i like to call supporters uh, that uh, started to copy my work and i used to see similar products and similar uh, captions and uh, uh, similar designs so i did not take this as something bad or something that should stop me but i took this as motivation because my business was not two months old and uh, it started to, to get like um, haters, but, uh, but, but they were supporters, secret supporters. So I liked how you um, uh, are putting this. I, there is a, a mindset, I think, when we see something working, uh, people tend to encourage it in their own way and perhaps try to to take it and uh, not I, I don't want to use the word copy it but execute it and because uh, the ideas that others have we might uh, we might thought of them would we don't know how to implement so uh, and you don't see this as a competition or a threat because this drives you forward and pu pushes you to do better you are the only one who's responsible of your success and i see that when you're talking about your business and how you search to, to improve and be better uh, at what you're doing. So uh, let's talk about the business now, uh, how it is going and what are your plans for the coming few months? And especially I'm interested to know during the holidays, how is it uh, and how the people are ordering in the festive seasons and the coming few months? So during the season, it was really overwhelming because I was working on my own on so many orders and I didn't want to uh, disappoint any clients. So I was really working hard to deliver all the orders and prepare everything. So we had uh, during um, the month of December Christmas boxes. Uh, I used to customize boxes as well uh, and include items that are themselves customized. 
So the box would be would really reflect the person who's going to receive the gift. Um, so this season, I did not launch any new product because I was really overwhelmed with the orders. But uh, starting January, I'm going to launch a lot of new uh, items uh, that are really excited, uh, exciting. I wish I could tell you more. Uh, and um, for the future, I have one big project in mind, which is international delivery. Uh, I would really appreciate if my uh, products were featured in other countries. And I hope this, uh, this is going to be available uh, very soon. Uh, I look forward also to see uh, your products reaching Europe, Barcelona, and other areas also in the Middle East and GCC. Uh, I'm gonna, so we can understand that you are trying to increase the business offering side and work with collaboration to introduce new element to your services and uh, printing uh, also that is uh, uh, embedded in your creation and arts and design. So that would be interesting to uh, check and follow in, for the 2021, what you are going to bring in this industry to this industry in Lebanon. So uh, with that, we want to ask you, uh, what are the three things you need help with to grow and uh, take the scale of the business forward for 2021? Um, I need to, to reach a wider audience. So this is why I will not limit myself to one platform, which is Instagram. I, I plan on growing more and having a website, maybe another another platform uh, on another on another app. Um, this, so this is one thing. Uh, another thing is I need more recognition. Uh, as a Lebanese designer, um, we're not really recognized around the world, but the creatives I got to meet uh, on my way uh, really pushed me and they encouraged me to speak more about my country because we really have uh, competitive designers and uh, I'm really proud to say that I'm not just a designer, I'm a Lebanese one. Uh, and third thing uh, must be international delivery because this is something that I'm really looking forward to but um, I will not be able to achieve it on my own. So of course I'm going to like uh, need help uh, with this. All right, so that's uh, that's being said from a, uh, I'm proud to say a young entrepreneur who still uh, ha have a lot of uh, ideas in her mind to bring her creations to, to the world, not only to Lebanon as a designer and the environment, although it gave her a challenge, uh, challenging ecosystem around her this year, she was able to, uh, defy all the rules and uh, have a strong base for her start and launch. So I want to wish you all the success and may your dreams mm -hmm. for the future be uh, recognized uh, by the by the work that you are going to put and uh, provide many happy customers, I hope. And uh, uh, I hope I one day I'll be able also to to deliver one of your planning uh, journals and other services that you're going to uh, work on. Uh, for that, do you have any final words you'd like to say to all the young entrepreneurs who are thinking to open a business or have opened in 2020 and it was challenging? Uh, I only have one sentence I would like them to think about is take the risk or lose the chance. So if you don't go for it, you might lose it forever. And if you don't start now, you might regret it later because what you build at a young age is your strong base and you're gonna build after that bigger empires. Thank you. So uh, this is uh, very empowering from uh, uh, to hear from you. And uh, I'm sure that everyone who would be watching this video would be inspired and uh, would seek internally to follow his dreams and passion. Thank you so much for being a guest in the Lockdown Economy series and sharing your story and uh, talking about your business. It's been interesting to have you with us. And I would like uh, to also invite everyone who's watching us to like the video, subscribe to our channel. And another thing, if you are curious to see uh, the designs and the creations of Mirelli, just uh, I have all the details mentioned in the YouTube below. I'll uh, send you the Instagram page uh, so you'll be able to check it out 
uh, she's still taking orders for the holiday seasons and for 2021, you'd be able to follow her designs and also customize for a gift or for yourself, uh, a small uh, planning and uh, journal that would be only for you and uh, the people that you love, you can share it with them. So uh, with that, I conclude, uh, if you love uh, what we are presenting, uh, just stay tuned for additional uh, interviews from uh, many different business sectors and industries around the world. Just subscribe to our channel and uh, like our videos and leave comments if you have any. And uh, with that, I would conclude uh, happy holidays for everyone who would be watching and bye-bye. Uh,